familiar faces for all of you for the rest of them. Do you have one in the back? Yeah, go ahead. Very much for for doing this, Nick from PBS News. Um, couple of couple of follow ups. One, uh, the secretary was almost getting there at the end, but just specifically, is there a wind down period? What kind of wind down period will, will there be? Uh, and as as you know, um, with China and Turkey, you're in the middle of of huge strategic conversations with with them. Turkey, obviously, F S four hundred, F thirty five, China, the, in, the entire trade talks. Do you have? Do you believe that this uh, announcement, this move, will impact those larger strategic talks? Thanks. Can we do the first one? Oh, sure. Let's speak to the wind down period. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, I would say that we've the wind down period, if we look at it, was will be a year in terms of going to zero. We've been very clear from the outset um, when the, the administration initiated withdrawal from the JCPOA. Uh, so that continues. Uh, we've already taken a million and a half barrels off the market. Uh, and are finalizing our path to zero, which will end uh, on uh, 2nd May. Um, we're, we're doing this purposefully. The Secretary made the announcement today to provide uh, the, the ability for markets to uh, ma be managed uh, prior to the expiration. And we're doing this in close cooperation and consultation uh, with some of the largest producers in the world uh, alongside of the U.S. production. Uh, so we very, feel very confident in terms of uh, the global uh, oil markets will be, remain well supplied. Sorry, one year from May 2nd, you're saying, or one year from the JCPOA? We, we, we started this last right. May, right? right? We'll be, have hit that one year this May. Right. So uh, what we say the wind down period was be, began then. We've been very clear in terms of our path to zero, uh, and we're uh, pleased to see that uh, global market conditions and cooperation from other partners uh, allow us to uh, to to close out uh, this year to zero. No further wind down period after May second. There will be no additional SREs granted. That is that is the policy. With respect to the impact, the point of this is not to um, uh, negatively impact other countries. We have we are doing everything we can to ensure a well-supplied oil market and that there aren't any supply interruptions. We have a very well-supplied oil market right now. We have always said from the time, this has been a year now, we've said this repeatedly, Frank and I have and the Secretary, the President, we are not looking to grant any exceptions or waivers to our campaign of maximum economic pressure. And this is the only way, this is the biggest leverage we have on the Islamic Republic of Iran is their oil exports. And if you want to seek a change in behavior, you have to show seriousness of purpose on the oil. And we're seeing, I was here a week or two ago giving a briefing on the impact that we are seeing. With this decision today, we expect to see more positive impacts to deny Iran the revenue it needs to conduct its foreign policy, to fund its proxies and satellites around the region, to fund its missile program. And that's a very positive thing. And so we think that this sort of move uh, pays a lot of benefits for the Middle East broadly to promote peace and stability. It is, it, is, it is very hard to imagine a peaceful and stable Middle East if you accept the status quo of Iran's expansionist foreign policy. Can you talk try, about try, the, try, the, Michelle? the sanctions that these countries could face? I mean, are you talking about targeted sanctions? Or are you talking about sanctions that could affect the U.S. trade relationship with countries like India and China. I don't have anything to add beyond what the Secretary said. We will sanction any sanctionable behavior. We have given countries, uh, after the President announced he was leaving the deal, countries were given a six-month pre-wind down before the sanctions were reimposed in November. And then because we had a very tight and fragile oil market in November, the President decided to grant a, a handful of waivers. Uh, we've always wanted to get to zero as quickly as market conditions will permit. We just face a much better oil picture globally than we did six months ago, and it will only improve from here. And so yeah. that's why we're in a better place. I, I just want to, I, I understand you, the Secretary, uh, and the White House also have all said there will be no more SREs uh, granted, uh, the waivers granted. But does that mean we'll all of these countries whose waivers are expiring on the 2nd get hit with sanctions on May 3 if they haven't cut all of their um, purchases? Or 
is there some kind of leeway in there for them to, let's say, continue to take delivery of pre of, of, of oil that they purchased before May 2nd, before the waivers expire, or will they be able to use money after May, May 2nd um, that, that's already been set aside for, for, for these purchases? I mean, I, forget about whether the waivers will be continued. Are they going to get hit with sanctions starting May 3? I think the Secretary spoke to that. Yeah, he already spoke to it. We don't have anything to add beyond what he well, said. I, well, he didn't, actually, because no, he I, did. you keep saying that SREs won't be, look, because be, I, 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 I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want this to be like you're playing cute here. Will India, Turkey, Japan, South Korea, or the, or the, China, get hit with sanctions on May 3rd if they do not stop between now and then taking delivery of Iranian oil? It's a hypothetical that the Secretary has already addressed. Kylie, um, can you talk a little bit about the numbers? You said that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, 1.5 million barrels have been taken off the market. So how many was Iran exporting <clears throat> last year at this time? How many are they exporting now? And the five countries that are still largely importing Iranian oil, um, how much are they importing? Well, we can get, uh, with respect to the, some of the specific numbers in the 1.5, that's been, uh, we've made that, uh, those numbers uh, available publicly in the past. In terms of the specific countries, that's subject, some of those are subject to uh, ongoing, you know, the diplomatic discussions we have. There's plenty of published uh, reporting on, in terms of estimates on what different countries are importing. Uh, and we just uh, we haven't any further, anything further to comment on those specifically. Um, I think what the other point the Secretary underscored was just the, tremendous increase and continued uptick in production in the United States and how EIA continues uh, to have to re revise upward uh, almost on a couple month basis in terms of what U.S. production, uh, what the U.S. production is. And just uh, last year, adding 1.6 million barrels uh, to the market is, is significant. We're on trend to uh, project to do something along similar this year. Um, so we're very confident in terms of the overall supply. I think the other point is global oil stocks are, are at five-year averages. Um, that's important. Uh, and we're in a very uh, positive uh, position relative to some of the other producers that the Secretary alluded to that are uh, working with us in partnership. Those okay. prices went up significantly today, though. Can you speak to that? Do you expect them to level out later this week? We saw, we saw some, some increase. It's hard to conflate our announcements uh, was made versus other things. I think just a few hours prior, you could look at other reporting uh, as to the, the OPEC curtailment. Um, there's lots of reasons in terms of uh, what affects oil markets. Um, what we're here to say also, though, and as the Secretary alluded, uh, we're, you're, we're, having do, we're doing this in coordination with other major producers. And we l would refer you to, uh, to their, uh, their actions as well. Uh, we're doing this to ensure, in a coordinated way, to ensure that uh, the, the global oil market uh, is well supplied. Great. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you.